This is our second direct modeling demo. And again, if we click the image from the rolling demo, this will load the project into PowerShape. We can just close our Explorer and our tree windows now. This demonstration is going to focus on a couple of the new selection techniques and also on the new face matching feature inside PowerShape. So first of all, if I turn the model to the side and look at the new selection techniques, we have a continuous lasso. So we want to remove and heal this hole or this pocket in the model. And using the new continuous lasso, we can lasso around those faces and it will select all faces wholly enclosed within the lasso. As well as the continuous lasso, we have a discrete lasso. So I can click that and then create a discrete lasso around that area. When we hover over the end point, it gives us the option of closing the lasso. And it will then take into selection any faces wholly enclosed within the lasso. Once I've done this, I can remove and heal the selected faces. The next new feature is the face matching or replace face feature. The idea of this is if we go in here and select this face, we want to match it or replace it with this face over here. So I can hit the new feature, select the face I wish to replace it with, and then apply that change and you'll see it replaces the face here with the face at the end of this solid. So this can be done in multiple examples. If I select this face, I can then match it to this face. And you can see the ghosted blue outline represents the updated model. And again, we can select this face on the end of the model and match it to this face. Once again, just repeat the selection. So this is the face we want to move. Change the tab in here and replace the face. So as well as that we could use it for example lifting up some of these boss features. So I could select this face and this face and then match them with the surrounding boss features. And you'll see how it increases the height of those. And a similar thing could be done with these ribs. So we can select each of these ribs and it will lift them up to the designated new face height. And that would obviously be used to just increase the strength of those ribs in that area. Ghosted blue image shows how the model will look. We can apply those changes and it will apply uniformly across any of the faces that we have selected.